Hello everyone and I hope you're doing extremely well. So I've set up preset key maps for my keyboard and my HOTAS, my left HOTAS, my right HOTAS for DCS World for all of the aircraft available in DCS World including the A4 Skyhawk so that you guys can go and use those key maps so you don't have to bother setting your own key maps up. That will mean that you then have my key map, so everything that I've got set up, you'll have set up. That will then be a bonus if you go and use my tutorial videos, because then you'll have exactly the same buttons as me. Now, the only problem is this only works, at least regarding the joystick or the HOTAS, if you have the same HOTAS as me, as far as I'm aware, which is a site of a Logitech X56. As ever, I don't recommend the X56 above or below anything. It's just what I've got, and it, you know, it works for me. But as, well, thousands of you have told, me that you guys are buying x56 because i use it and therefore you can go and use my key map so i'm going to show you how to use them now finally sorry if it took so long i finally got them working i believe uh, i'll show you how to install them so we're going to open up a browser of your choice uh, i just need to get to one of my videos as quickly as possible let's just do this uh, let's type grim reapers oops there we are look uh, modern video, modern video, modern video, modern video, coffee, one of the modern ones, go. Hello and welcome back to the re please be quiet. Um, if we go to the video description here, I'm going to click show more. Down the bottom here we've got caps, x56, hotas, maps. Click. This is the keyboard as well as the hotas. Click on that, ping. Here you have all 35 modules in DCS World. Uh, so I'm going to pick on today why not the mig 15 so i'm going to go to the mig 15 and i've got my right hotas i've got my left hotas and i've got my keyboard uh so to why don't we just download these so what you're going to do is click on that and then control click on that and then control click on that no i can't do that we're gonna to have to download them one by one so in fact why don't we just download the whole folder so right click download zipping uh, I'm not sure what it's asking that, but let's go with it. Uh, yeah, here we go. So what do you want to do? I want to save as. You'll get presented with something similar to this. Don't save it in any of your DCS folders. Just save it somewhere away, separate. It's not something that you want to go into any of your DCS folders. In fact, I'm just going to save it in my D drive, and I'll try and remember to delete it afterwards. So D drive, I'm just going to save it as whatever it's got. Okay, we're done here. Let's get rid of all of this browser. Let's now go and check that it is in D drive. Ping. Uh, there it is. MIG. Let's get it out of its jacket. We'll go in here. Copy. Whenever you download something, it zips it up into a zip file for safety. Uh, so I've now copied it down there. We can now delete the zip file. Check that the big 15 files are in there. They are. They all look good. So next we are going to go and import them into DCS. So I'm going to start DCS up. Okay, we're going to go to options. We're going to go to controls. We're going to go to MIG-15. Find it. MIG-15, MIG-15, real. Okay, and um, I'm going to import these. Uh, I've got a keyboard. I've got left HOTAS. I've got right HOTAS. So keyboard here, if I change this, just to show you that it has imported it to something, uh, full stop. Uh, in fact, I'll just clear that, it's probably easiest. And now I go to click on the keyboard area here, somewhere here, load profile. And I've got to find, where did I put it? Um, blah, 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 D drive, it's called MIG-15. If you can see him, there he is, there, keyboard, okay. And you can see it's loaded it up and it's replaced what I just cleared. Um, and I could do the left HOTAS, so I'll click on here, that's my left um, Cytec F Logitech X56. So I'll go load profile, I would load the left here, I would load the right, ping, and that's it. That's me loaded up caps, MIG 15 profile. I'll keep them up to date because obviously things change as, um, as the modules expand and change. Uh, and that's it. Uh, like I said, thousands of you have gone out and bought X56s, which is, you know, it's cool, whatever. So um, you guys can go and download these maps, install them so you don't have to bother doing the work yourself. I uh, hope that helps and see you later.